Hey everyone, how's it going there? Welcome to Uncomplicated by Freshworks. Today's topic is a pretty interesting one. Why? Because it's very relevant one. And if you're a B2B business, you're not going to miss this. You know, we all ask our customers, prospects to write reviews pretty much on our website, on, you know, various platforms and stuff like that. But is that all we can use reviews and testimonials for? You know, uh, Russ Somos from Trust Radius doesn't think so. He has some pretty interesting insights on how you could use your testimonials. So Russ, what have you got for us? Hey there, how you doing? It is good to talk with you, Praveen, and delighted to be featured here. Yeah, um, yeah I love what you said. <laughs> Excellent. I love what you said at the start about, okay, we're all collecting this information because you're right. Everybody has reviews on review sites now. Mm -hmm. And we know that review sites are actually the number two source of information that shoppers use in consideration. When people are buying software, the first thing they look for is a product demo. The second mm -hmm. thing they look for is reviews. So they matter. But the challenge is how do you take that value that's sitting on review sites and unlock it and put it into your sales cycles? And there's a few key things that we see our customers doing, things that I've done myself because full disclosure, I was a Trust Radius customer long before I ever worked here and I found such value in the platform that I had to come work here. Mm -hmm. uh, so a couple of things. Number one is the obvious thing is to use them in sales cycles, right? Because mm -hmm. let's imagine you're in AE, you're engaged with a prospect and the prospect is saying, I'm considering buying from you or another vendor. And from my perspective, the two solutions look about the same and the other vendor is $10,000 cheaper. As a salesperson, you've got two options there. Number one is to drop your price, which is not really a great option. Number two is to use the voice of the customer to prove that you actually are different and better. And so you wanna have a quote at hand from a customer that is just like your prospect, somebody in the same interest, industry, same role, et cetera. And you want that quote of the customer saying, I considered these two solutions. This is the vendor I went with because when we tested them both, we found this one to be better and here's why. So you can use it in sales cycle, but the key insight is you want a relatable customer story from somebody that is like that customer. So you need a library of quotes that are tagged so you can find what you need. That's one use case, sales use case. Mm -hmm. Second use case, as a marketer, you wanna sort of use that voice of the customer throughout marketing because nobody likes to hear marketers talk anymore. People tend not to trust marketing. In fact, you know, it's something more Americans believe in Bigfoot than trust vendor sales and marketing to this point. 18% of people believe in Bigfoot. 11% of people trust vendor sales and marketing. So the best thing you can do is pull your marketing voice out of there mm -hmm. and put customer proof there. A key example would be using it on landing pages. So mm -hmm. people come through a pay-per-click ad, they come to a landing page ad, submit my information, get a demo. They're wondering if the vendor is actually worth it. Um, at, a, at a company called Trendkite that I worked at prior to here, we use um, customer quotes from review sites, from Trust Radius, on the landing pages as mm -hmm. trust cues, and we increased our conversion 20 to 30% on those landing pages, okay. which when you look at paid search being a big part of our marketing mix was a big piece. We also use that information, we use those customer quotes in retargeting. And we ran this test over and over, and it was super fun. We'd mm -hmm. be going after a specific industry, let's say it was education, mm -hmm. and we split our list of prospects we were going after in two. Half of them we would retarget with social proof, quotes from customers like them, you know, this is the best product for, you know, and somebody in the education industry. The other half we wouldn't. We'd do that for two weeks, then we'd start our SDRs dialing out and calling into those accounts. We always got double response from the ones that were pre-warmed from retargeting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the net insight is let the customer speak, use that in your sales cycle to overcome objections and use it in your marketing to create credibility where marketing itself no longer has credibility. Awesome. I think, uh, you know, I really agree with your second part, you know, where, you know, people have stopped kind of trusting marketers. One more point. I mean, just what we've seen at Freshworks is we've also kind of seen the reviews that we have seen on various platforms use, you know, feed that information into product management because more review sites and when we give testimonials, customers also talk about what they don't like within our product or service. So we kind of try and feed that into product management as well. Probably that's one more use case that, you know, where reviews could be really useful. 
okay, you have just convinced me that you guys are a very leading organization and here's why. We view there be, as being sort of an evolutionary curve in terms of adoption of review content. You know, the first step is to be passive, which is basically to be in denial. You're not using the information. The mm -hmm. second step is to be, be reactive. You're managing your reputation. You have a presence on review sites, but you're not doing anything else with the content. The mm -hmm. third step is to be proactive. You're feeding that information into sales and marketing. But mm -hmm. the fourth step is to be truly customer powered and congratulations because Freshworks yeah. is there. At the point you're taking those insights, feeding them to product management, feeding them to CEO and making business decisions on them outside of just sales and marketing, you are a true customer powered organization. So it makes me super happy to hear you guys are doing that. <laughs> Thank you. I think that goes with the brand philosophy of, you know, creating customers for life. Had a great time talking with you, Russ. Until I see you next time. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Yeah. Take care.